In my long drawn career as a media person and later as an academic, I have met several people who have desired to study again in their lives, to value add to themselves and to also have benefits in their career, promotions or in business. But they've wondered how to do that. In context of Nepal, it's even more stronger. The reason is that there, there are far-flung areas, people are engaged in a uh, you know, livelihood earning early in their lives, and therefore, higher education remains a dream for many people later in their lives. Open and distance learning has the right answer for that, because this education for higher, at the higher level brings education with limited engagement only on Saturdays in classes through academic counsellors for clarification of doubt and also teaching, and alongside a large number of offline and online learning resources through e-learning, through books, through libraries and all at the center. It also helps people do their assignments and projects because that's a very important applied aspect of learning. So open and distance learning is the right answer for such working professionals, people at far-flung areas and also homemakers. And I have been observing at ICA, this particular education mode, mode has been executed in the best possible manner. No wonder that Indira Gandhi National Open University, which is the largest open and distance learning university of the world, with more than 4 million, 40 lakh students, have recognized, and by the way, IGNU is in 44 countries of the world, and it has recognized ICA of Kathmandu, Nepal, as the best partner institute overseas, out of India, in 2011 and 2013, indeed a matter of pride for every Nepali.